Hello everyone. My name is Stephen Lambert. I teach string orchestra classes at Freedom, Fremont, Martinez, and Scott Elementary Schools in Colorado Springs School District 11. This past week I've had a chance to play around with the WebEx program, which our district is going to be using to do a lot of online learning and meetings while we're practicing social distancing. It took me some time to figure out how to use WebEx, so I thought I'd give you a tour so that you can get started easier. First up is installing the WebEx program. If you've never used WebEx before, you start out by going to our district's WebEx site. So that's CSSD 11, uh, that stands for Colorado Springs School District 11, dot webex dot com. You get a pop-up asking you to either install the WebEx app or to join from your browser. I recommend installing the app. There are a few things that you can do on the app which you cannot do in a browser. Next, you'll need to connect to your meeting. You may have gotten an email, text, or calendar invitation, in which case you can just click the link they sent you. Otherwise, you might be looking for someone's personal room. Everyone has their own virtual room within the app in which they can host meetings, and you don't need a link to get there. You can find someone's personal room using either the app or from a browser, and both ways are almost identical, so I'm just going to show you how to get there from the app. If you are using the computer app, you'll click the box underneath where it says join a meeting, so right here. If you're using an app on a tablet or phone, you'll click right on the words join a meeting. And if you're using a browser, you'll type this directly into the address bar. So what you type in is going to start off the same as it was before cssd11.webex.com. This time you're going to add slash meet and then another slash and then you're going to put the first and the last name of the uh, person that you're trying to connect to and you're going to put a period in between them. And then you hit join. For now, however, since you're just exploring, it's best to just start a meeting of your own by clicking start a meeting. Okay, you're about to join the meeting. You'll see either join or start meeting here in green. Before you join, let's check if your mic and video are working. If you're on a tablet or iPhone, it'll automatically use the built-in camera and mic. No adjustment needed. You'll just have to accept the pop-up box that asks for permission. If you're on a PC, then move your mouse to the bottom right corner and hit settings. Hit the test button and see if sound comes out of your speakers or headphones. Say something and you should be able to see the blue lines underneath microphone reacting. If something isn't working, then hit the drop down menu and choose the speaker or mic you want to use. Um, you may have to experiment around with it and test different ones to see if it works. If you're using a mic with a desktop or laptop computer, I recommend also using headphones. Otherwise, your mic and your speakers may interact with each other and cause feedback. This doesn't seem to happen on tablets or phones. If you don't have a mic, you can still join, listen, and use the chat function, but you won't be able to talk out loud. If you don't have a camera, then no one will be able to see you, but that may not matter too much. Anyways, now that everything's working, I want you to mute your microphone, make sure it's red, and then decide if you want your camera on or off. You can change this later when you're in the meeting too. And then when you're ready, Hit the green button to join the meeting. 